Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we are coming back with a series that all of you seem to really love. We're going to be spinning the random wheel, and hopefully we can end up getting some pretty cool uh, maps and uh, animals to go after and weapons to use. We have been having a lot of fun with this series every time we've done it, and I'm very interested to see what we're going to get. So let's go ahead and roll for a reserve. Let me just count them all to make sure that I've got them all on the wheel, and then we will go ahead and do a spin. And it does look like we have all of them here, so let's go ahead and spin and see what reserve we have to go to. And it looks like our reserve is going to be Parque Fernando. Now I actually have not hunted Parque since the update, and it'll be very interesting to see just where the animals are now and if we can find some cool diamonds or rares. But either way, let's jump in there and see if we can get something good. But of course, before we jump on the map, let's go ahead and rapid fire four weapons to use. And, of course, uh, four scopes to go with them in hopes that we'll get some scopes that fit on, well, really any of them. You know, honestly, this is probably the best selection of sights we could have possibly got. Unfortunately, we don't have anything for the shotguns, but other than that, we actually got a good variety of stuff to use. So I'm pretty happy with this. Well, guys... I made a massive mistake with this episode, I just realized. And because of that, everything that I just recorded is pretty much not usable. When I did the random wheel, I forgot to switch over and go to the full screen game. So we've got this tiny cropped version of the footage, which is very unfortunate. And because of that, there's really not too much I can salvage out of it. So we're actually going to be starting the video off like this. So basically after we did the random wheel, we ended up spotting ourselves a level 9 uh, legendary water buffalo. And so we ended up going back and grabbing a gun that could actually take it down. And we ended up choosing the 338. I decided that that would be a fun one to use. Uh, since technically this is supposed to be a randomized video and obviously none of the guns we got could take down a buffalo uh, So we had to go back and get something and to make it a little more interesting. I decided on the 338 So we ended up getting uh, lined up on it And I guess on the bright side with this weird view you can kind of see a semi zoomed in view of taking it down But my gosh, it's just so unfortunate that I screwed that up and I don't think I've ever done this before so the fact that it happened is quite devastating and I really don't know how I'm going to salvage this video now, but we're going to make the best out of it. Oh, this is just going wonderfully. I left the Parque Fernando session because we had already hunted all the areas that I wanted in the uh, time that I ruined all that footage. So, unfortunately, there's no more Parque Fernando servers. So, I, I guess we'll just go into single player Parque Fernando as that's really the only option we have. The good news is, I haven't hunted my maps since they updated the game with the Revon Tuli Coast updates, so who knows what I've got. There could be some pretty good stuff, so hopefully we'll run into something. Though, uh, with how things have gone today, not really expecting to. So, since we ended up tossing the 338 into our loadout to kind of fill that Class 9 need for that Diamond Buffalo, I decided to at least make it difficult we would use uh, the Red Raptor Reflex since that was one of the sights the random wheel gave us. Since this rifle was not in that uh, a random assortment of weapons we ended up getting from it, I decided to at least make it interesting still we would use that sight. So it's going to be interesting to see how things go. I have not used the uh, 338 Red Dot combo on Water Buffalo before. so. Definitely curious to see how it's gonna go. I'm not expecting it to go great, but maybe it won't go as bad as I think it will. And I do actually have an idea that might be kind of interesting. I've got a tent right on top of where they are. Let's fast travel there and uh, see if we can maybe blast a couple of the buffalo before they run off. I think it could be kind of interesting. And we might actually get to do this. Yeah, we actually did manage to get one. That worked way better than I thought it would. That actually went pretty smoothly. And we've got another one going towards us that seems very mad. And yeah, we got another aggressive buffalo. 
get one sunk right into her. I don't think it was vitals though, so that's a little bit unfortunate. Actually, it was. Just the blood took forever to show up for some reason. And there is the first one. We did end up getting a left lung hit, so just enough to bring it down. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't get the double lung, but I didn't really expect to at that range. Or not range, but that angle. And then on this one right here, we ended up getting the liver, which is a little surprising actually, though it still does relatively well at taking them down. And we've got another water buffalo uh, deciding to charge us. This one does seem to be another female. What is it with all of the female water buffalo charging today and none of the males wanting anything to do with us except for, of course, when everything was glitched and bugged with my recording? Well, not really bugged, but I forgot to change the scene. So yeah, that was uh, very unfortunate that that was the only time we could get some males to attack. Uh, now it seems like it's just the females that want to. And there she goes, let's grab her real quickly as we move along a, a brown level 3 female water buffalo. Well, we've got a lot of uh, water buffalo in front of us, I really don't know which one to target. I mean, that guy's a male, so we might as well go for him since he's giving us a decent shot. And that does seem like it connected very well. Much better than I would have expected us to even be able to get a shot with the uh, red raptor. I thought for sure we wouldn't be able to get close enough unless they were attacking and speaking of attacking that one appeared to be attacking but I guess it's just fleeing there is the first one this is the female once again a single lung hit uh, we begin in quite a few of the single lung shots I uh, was really hoping that we could get some double lungs to bring them down a bit quicker but just uh, not been getting the proper angles to do so today except for maybe this guy right here I love how this video went from a random wheel video to just being a fun hunt for water buffalo and uh, that honestly is how Parque Fernando tends to be for me. I get on here and then I automatically just go to the water buffalo or the red deer, occasionally the mule deer, because they are the ones that I have the most fun with and uh, today just happened to be a day I decided to go straight to the water buffalo. You know it's very interesting to go to this lake right here and to see a three solo mule deer uh, typically, I wouldn't be seeing solo mule deer here, and I believe in the past we usually saw a couple big herds, so it's very interesting to see that there's just solo ones here now. Definitely not what I am accustomed to seeing on this uh, particular lake on Parque Fernando. Definitely odd. We also have a few cinnamon teal over here feeding, so it might be kind of cool to take those out as well. Uh, provided we can actually get close enough on our stomachs and uh, try to take one of them down. Uh, all we have is the shotgun, so I don't expect this to go great, but maybe we can at least uh, grab a couple of them. It seems we've also got a few more of them landing very close, so maybe that'll give us some extra opportunities to try and take some down. You know, I really need to get some teal setups, because it would be fun to kind of come here and uh, take down some cinnamon teal. The way they were meant to be taken down instead of just doing it like this. Though we did just manage to get down the teal that I was targeting, which is a either piebald or melanistic. Definitely wanted to get it down and it seems like we have. Sadly not going to get those though. But that is a 4.20 red cinnamon teal. I actually don't see the red ones too often. I'm curious have they made them a little bit more common because I never used to find the red plumage type. But we just got one, so honestly I might tax it just because I don't have hardly any of them. In fact, I don't think I have a single male in any of my lodges and they look so beautiful. And then right here we have either a melanistic or a piebald, most likely a piebald, but if we're lucky, yeah, it's a piebald. Well, <laughs> at least it was close to diamond. Could have been a piebald diamond, but uh, sadly it wasn't. So there is one of those mule deer we took down and you know, normally in these random wheel videos, I try to only take down some of the larger stuff that we find in multiplayer. But since there was no servers after we left that one, we kind of had to improvise on the type of stuff that we're taking down. And since we're in our own map, we might as well take down some stuff for respawns. And a couple of nice mule deer bucks like this will uh, do perfectly fine. They may not be the biggest, but at least we're getting to use uh, some of the rifles that we ended up getting for uh, today's episode. So we did make it back into a multiplayer server and unfortunately it's the same one that we left which is not exactly ideal but 
I suppose now that it's at a much later time, we will get a different look at some of the animals on the map, so hopefully we can find something of note. There is some mule deer, but none of them seem to be uh, that great, so I think we'll pass these up and see if we can find something else. Well, that's definitely a much better looking mule deer, and I think that one will have to do. Let's go ahead and line up on it and uh, see if we can steady our aim and then take a shot on it. Definitely could have aimed a little higher, and that second shot did much better, actually. Another solid mule deer, a nice level four. We're getting a lot of decent mule deer in this multiplayer server, and that really was not the case on our single player when I was looking at the mule deer that we have. There was just not a lot of good ones showing up, but here there's actually quite a few of them. There is one of the two mule deer that we took down. This was the second one, if I'm not mistaken, 245 with a very wonky rack. Uh, definitely an interesting looking one for sure. Oh my gosh, there is a mountain lion running right next to us. If we could possibly get it with the handgun, that would be amazing, but this thing is so fast and it's so difficult to move the handgun scope since it does have a relatively low sensitivity and it's making it very difficult to even land a shot on this thing. And by the time we actually can get a shot, he's so far away that it's a little bit out of the effective range, which is unfortunate for us. Sadly, couldn't get a shot into him, though I really would have liked to. I really hope that one of these days they give us different uh, sensitivities for each of the scopes. That way we can adjust them individually, because though... The current sensitivity that I use may be great for something like the Argus or the Hyperion scope. Once I go to something like the handgun scope, it uh, it doesn't exactly swipe super fast. I gotta lift my mouse up like five times just to do a 180. Which is uh, definitely a problem since I would typically use a handgun for close range on something that is either running past me or just not super far away that I'd like to have a challenge on. And it would be nice if I could change the sensitivity. Well, the most unfortunate thing has happened. Our deer is gone. And it didn't run away. And I know for a fact that it didn't float because I just saw it less than a minute ago. That is quite unfortunate. I, I don't know where it could have possibly got off to. Oh, it's clear over here. Well, that's strange. I thought we took it down with a neck shot, but... I guess it somehow teleported? That is the weirdest thing we have encountered all day. The blood is clear over there. This is clearly him. This is the one that we took out with a neck shot. I... Wow, I have no words. That is so strange. Well, unfortunately, I think we're going to have to go ahead and end the video there. I once again ran out of multiplayer servers. I guess nobody's playing Parquet recently, and I'm assuming that uh, Way of the Hunter, having just released recently, probably has something to do with that. But it's still unfortunate. We weren't able to find as many servers as I would have liked. And because of that, we're going to have to end the video early. But we did get this absolute beast right here. 174.9. I'm still so mad at myself for not switching the scenes over to the proper recording, uh, I guess, screen. But it, it still is whatever, I guess. We still got it on video regardless of whether or not it got screwed up. So at least we got that going for us. But it's very unfortunate. And I definitely would have liked to have recorded this just as a normal video. But... Sadly, I messed up on the uh, scene switching and ruined half of the video, but it is what it is. Unfortunately, I still have some recording to do for Way of the Hunter, so I'm not able to continue recording Call of the Wild today, and that's another, another reason why we're going to have to cut it short. We've been going for over two and a half hours trying to get some stuff in multiplayer, and it's just not been going our way besides this guy right here. So I hope you guys understand. We're going to come back to Call of the Wild in a couple days with another video as well, though, so stay tuned. There's more content to come for Call of the Wild. Once again, we're not stopping Call of the Wild. We're going to mix it up, Way of the Hunter and Call of the Wild. Every other day, we'll probably swap, you know, do a few videos of each each week, and I think that's going to be the best way to do it. And my recording software cut off right before I finished that outro, so I will finish it right here. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you're brand new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, click that like button, and ring that notification bell so that you guys will never miss any of the future uploads. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below if you guys enjoyed the video, and let me know what your favorite types of Call of the Wild videos are. With that being said, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace!